Today we're going to test Gary's mod without any limits. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means anything is possible. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. And today's video is going to be all about using tools that have had their limits either amplified or completely removed. For instance, the inflator. A really, really fun mod. In fact, I think I did a whole video on it. I'll put it in the top right corner. And this is really fun to mess with. If you couldn't tell, you can really just kind of go all out with this. You know, make things skinny, make things big. Uh, let's make this more accurate. Almost there. There we go. That's the Odessa in my head. Now, what if you could use this on an actual player? Unfortunately, I don't have any players here. But if you're unlike me and you have friends, just kidding, you can actually use this on your players now. So if you guys have friends, I implore you to try this on those friends and uh, see what kind of crazy things you can make work. Next up, we have Bigify and Smallify. In fact, I have also done a video on this one for some reason. And I'll put that in the top right corner if you want to check it out. This lets you make NPCs small or big, and it's really fun to mess with. Well, it unfortunately doesn't work on anything but NPCs, but now it does. So whether it's like your favorite globe, you can make it big, or maybe you want a bigger couch to fit all your friends on. Welp, now you can easily do that. The only problem is, is that the model will phase through any obstacle it goes through. So this won't extend the collision. For instance, it'll still have the same collision as the original model or the space it took up. And yeah, you can see it, it, the rest just kind of falls through the material it's on. It's important to note that this also works on Smallify. So if you want like a cute little canister, you can totally do it. But once again, it will still have all the same properties as the original size. So even though this isn't the canister right here, if I hit it, I'm still technically hitting it. Still cool nonetheless. Next up, we have Ignite. So this is a feature that only worked on a few things. I can't remember if it actually worked on NPCs before or not, but it definitely does now. So Ignite your friends. Do whatever it is you wish. For instance, it usually only worked on like, say, wooden objects like this. Things that could be destroyed normally or that you would expect to be set on fire. And this is pretty typical. But now you can even set things like this bucket on fire. Why? I have no clue, but now you can. In fact, you can even turn things like this on fire, which is a consumable or a pickup. Oh, wait, it actually exploded. Wait, what? Or even say, for instance, this shotgun ammo. We can ignite this and it is now on fire. Will this actually explode? Probably not, but you can pick it up still. Now we're going to do something that is really fun and that is to remove the gravity from all objects. So physics does not need to apply in your Gary's mod if you don't want it to. That thing is never coming back. Let's try something more interesting like a vehicle. If we go ahead and turn gravity off, yoink, and off it goes into the wondrous expanse. In fact, this has really caught my interest. I want to see just how far this can go. Look at that. And then if you give it a little bit of motion, it maintains that motion with no friction whatsoever to get in the way. And you go, yoink! Off it goes into the stratosphere. <laughs> Next up, we have the drive feature. So with most props, you can right click and do drive and you take control of it, kind of like a mind control. I mean, you can even see I'm even doing like the whole pose and everything. And this works on ragdolls, which by the way, is really funny to do it with. And of course you could also drive, well, next bots, but you can't drive really anything else. So what if you could, like say a standard NPC, now you can drive them. Maybe you could always drive them, although judging by the fact that I'm having a lot of weird issues, maybe not. Just like this mod says, you can now drive pretty much anything. Now this is one of my favorite ones. If you hold C and right click, you can even make it keep upright, which means no matter what you do, even <laughs> against your greatest efforts, it will always stay upright, even if that doesn't make a lot of sense. So this will not tip over. Oh yeah, we're really pushing the boundaries of physics now. For instance, what about this chair? We can see it falls over and it just kind of topples and everything and we don't want that. So we can keep it upright to where it will stay upright no matter what. Next up, we have the remover. So this is obviously a tool that I don't know about you, but I use a ton. You can just remove anything you look at. Unfortunately though, it does not work on players. 
until today. But also, unfortunately, I don't have any players to test this on, so I couldn't tell you exactly what it's like, but I can tell you what it does. It makes them... Well, it makes the player invisible. So, you don't really delete them, it just makes it look like they're gone. Now it's balloon time! So we've done balloons before, and they're pretty fun and exciting, but they do have limited use on what you can lift. For instance, here it is lifting up the spool. Well, now balloons can lift anything. Well, you can even make the Hulk lift now. Now normally it won't work. You do have to shoot it right at their pelvis or the center of the model. And with enough balloons, hopefully he should float. The Hulk's a pretty big guy, so we might have to affect the buoyancy a little bit. Okay, we've done maximum force now. This should hopefully get him to go up. Okay, we are reaching our limit here, unfortunately. This is the maximum force. The Hulk just does not want to go anywhere. So let's give him a little bit of a help here. Um... Well, he's not going down, so uh, <laughs> I guess that's something, right? Yeah, mission complete. Same thing goes for the thrusters. Now, this has been one of my favorite tools in Gary's Mod. Obviously, you put thrusters on something, and then you can make it go. Turn anything into a rocket, pretty much. Well, now this will work on anything. Now, I don't know if you could actually put these on NPCs normally. I think you could. But again, if you put it on anything that is not the pelvis, it will not work. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and do Odessa. Okay. Yep, that's appropriate. Once again, I'm pretty sure this would not work normally. As you can see, the thrusters are just falling off. But if we put it on... <laughs> we can... We can turn this into a masterpiece. So how well does this work? Well, if you couldn't tell... It's not really doing a whole lot. There's also a few interesting features like turning them into other NPCs, for instance. We can give him a stun stick as well, but we can also turn him into a combine. Why? Don't know, but you can do that. You can also turn him into a bunch of different things, like, um, become a female refugee. Yeah. And then last up, guys, we have an unused tool here, the leaf blower. Well, apparently it's the most important aspect of Gary's mod, and that is to blow things around. And I gotta agree, this might be the most important tool in Gary's mod. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think these tools are cool? Do you think that they really enhance the Gary's mod experience? And if they do, how would you use them? Let me know down below. As always though, guys, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. All the links are down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, farewell.